the way we see Bromfontein now is how so far town was back then. It's busy, it's like everyone hustling, just trying to perfect their craft and get their word out. Bromfontein is an electric urban area that gives you the opportunity to express yourself. You walk down a street in Brom and it's like fashion central right now on a Saturday. It's played a huge role in developing our characters and finding yourself and finding yourself with amongst the people. It's a nice melting pot where everyone is here and everyone can meet and, and make things happen. Area 3 in the past has been known as the, the home of Adidas style, but I think really it's you know the home of Adidas um, in Johannesburg. We're standing in our space in Bromfontein now, which is obviously a shop in the, in the front here, but in the back it's a, it's a newsroom. If you think about what Originals um, is as a brand, you know, there's, there's really this raw creative edge to that and nothing is you know, more intrinsically involved in that than the inner city if you come to, to downtown Johannesburg. I think we're perfectly positioned here in Bromfontein. We create a little hub of the city and it's growing and we're, we're super stoked to be part of that and to be pushing, pushing that creativity and that culture. For me, uh, Area 3 was basically about simple human interactions, just simple human truth, and that relationship between them. Um, my name is Andy Lebuga. It's one of the and I form part of a creative collective uh, called The Sartists. We're all about, I think, documenting our style and our lives, um, but more than anything, it's telling authentic stories about our lives and our journeys through style and photography. Sometimes we're so far-fetched from what we see on the, on the internet and we like early adopters of product because we're always on the coolest websites worldwide. So Area 3 has helped bridge that gap whereby you'll see uh, a neighborhood shelter from Japan and next thing you're actually holding it to you owning it, you know? The whole point of Dip Streets from the beginning was just like to become the best streetwear store in our art in Bromfinty. I took a lot of inspiration when I first opened it from a lot of stores that I'd visited and, and trips that I'd done overseas previously. It's one of those hidden gems of Bromfinty. It's like you have to be in the in the know. So you have to like know where you're going, what you're looking for. In South Africa, a lot of people are taking pride in wearing probably South African brands. If you're wearing a South African t-shirt or hoodie, whatever, that's like the, the vibe. Obviously we'll buy like the palace and that stuff every now and then, but like the South African buy locals like the trend right now. Crime is such a big thing. It comes to the game and it's definitely like affected me. We got hit um, 27th of February, and then we got hit again, the project to clean out the store. And it's not, it's not an ideal situation as well. We're not open now to having queues outside. We'd rather do a raffle and everything like that, but I guess, it's one of those things that comes with the sneaker games, like that in the States as well. You know, the reason we opened a place like this was because obviously like globally coffee as a trend is, is quite a thing and um, we wanted to bring that to Johannesburg as like Cape Town's always been a bit ahead of us and uh, we thought it'd be cool to have it in our own city. We wanted to make a place that, that we'd enjoy going as well. Just like focus really like heavily on quality and just making a beautiful shop that people want to spend time in. It's worked, you know, like it's the, ki the kids enjoy it, coffee nerds enjoy it, like it's it's been a good thing for us. We source green beans, we roast them here on site, we use the best equipment, we put a lot of effort into every step of the process and that's actually what produces a good cup of coffee. It makes a huge difference at the end of the day and our customers will, will testify to that. Bracket is the best coffee in the whole of Jaws. The taste, the flavors that they bring out, it's not like those typical coffees that you get at any coffee shop now. Bigger for the coffee. Coffee is really well considered, our designs considered, and I think kids with a sense of style, they connect with that instantly and, and it makes them want to be here, they want to look good, they want to drink good coffee and they, and they just want to hang out here and that's, like you see that every day and that's what kind of keeps us going and, and knowing we're kind of doing the right thing as well. And that, that's kids from every background, they all, they all can appreciate the, the effort that's been put in. 
for me, in inner city culture, inner city street, where it's gonna it's gonna go big. South Africans are seeing what's happening in the rest of the world, but they still want their own flavor and their own heritage, and and, and base that on like what makes South Africa unique. I'm really, really excited and happy to be part of that movement of individuals who are creating new things, who are challenging themselves, who are trying to do something different every time, and more than anything, collaborating.